Yo, what is good everybody? Thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune into yet another video. In today's video, I kind of wanted to switch it up a little bit. It's kind of been a while since I've given you guys an informational video. So today, I kind of wanted to take the time to answer a question that I'm asked millions of times, not only on this channel, but also in my DMs. That is, yo, how am I able to cop so many multiples on Supreme? Um, the answer to that question has kind of changed a little bit. So I probably answered this a couple other times on this channel. But in this video, I kind of wanted to make it just a full guide, especially with box logos coming out this week. I kind of wanted to help you guys out in how to cop multiples if you are looking to cop a couple. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely hope you guys take away some valuable information. Of course, if you do, please do not hesitate to drop a like on this video. Also, if you are new and you are a fan of the content, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I would definitely appreciate it, and I'm pretty sure that you will not be disappointed in the content. Also, as a quick disclaimer, all of the information that I'm about to tell you guys is courtesy of my Discord group shout out ugly gang the best cook group on the market by far the best cook group on youtube if you guys are in need of a cook group if you've never been in a cook group if you've been struggling buying supreme if you've been struggling buying sneakers pretty much all limited items i promise that my cook group can help you guys out even for those of you guys who are looking to get into botting my cook group is great for learning how to bot for all you beginners out there we've turned beginner botters into five star chefs and i'm not lying to you guys i'll even take a second and give you guys a little scroll action of the success channel in my discord so you guys can see for yourself i'm telling you i'm not lying a lot of people even cook more than me if you guys think i cook a lot we have some chefs in that group man chefs that can help you guys out a ton a ton a ton a ton so please if you guys are in need of a cook group we are looking to restock on the 15th of this month 3 p.m est if you guys are interested in joining join the discord right now you can hang out there until the 15th i promise once again you guys will not regret it we are looking to add some new features this month as well on top of all the features that we already have i'm telling you once again i don't really want to kill a lot of time here my cook group is by far the best one on the market but enough of that man i know what you guys are here for we're here to learn how to cop multiples on supreme so let's get into it first and foremost i kind of wanted to break this video up into a couple different sections one being the credit cards or the type of payments that work to cop multiples on supreme then i'll go into how you should you know jig or mess around with your address or with your information to cop multiples as well and then i'll finalize with stuff that you should just completely avoid when it comes to you know buying multiples on supreme first and foremost let's start off with the payment methods the first payment method you guys probably already know about especially considering most of the youtubers that you guys probably watch are sponsored by them and speak pretty highly of them rightfully so they deserve it it is a really good product i'm talking about privacy and real quick this is not a sponsored video privacy if you guys do want to sponsor me hit me up i'm pretty sure that we can work something out i got you with the promotions privacy pretty much allows you to create multiple credit cards linked to your one bank account so let's say for example you're one of those people out there that has one payment method you have one bank account one debit card pretty much linked to each other privacy allows you to take that one bank account and create multiple virtual credit cards around it so now instead of one debit card you have four five six seven eight nine how many ever you want to make which is extremely clutch when you want to buy multiples of the same item on supreme obviously if you guys have been around supreme for a while now you would know that you could only buy one per style per card on any given thursday so having multiple cards that can check out the same product is extremely extremely clutch definitely look into privacy if you have not already also some other payment methods that i know for sure work for me specifically i use capital one eno eno is pretty much the exact same thing as privacy the only difference is that now instead of using your bank account which is pretty much cash you can link it to your credit account Capital One Eno is kind of a little different in that it's not a separate service. Eno is an actual service that is offered by Capital One. So if you have any Capital One credit card, you can pretty much just enable that service or enable that feature, and you can pretty much create as many uh, you know virtual credit cards as you want linked to that account. Also, extremely, extremely clutch. Um, some other payment methods that I know for sure work as well. PayPal has now dropped a virtual credit card as well. I believe you could only do one per account though, which is kind of a bummer. I'm not entirely sure if the PayPal account needs to be a business account. I would like to assume that it does because it sounds like a feature that's more allocated to businesses. But by all means, if you guys want to go see if it works for yourself, please go ahead and do so. Um, as far as myself, me personally, I have not used PayPal virtual credit cards just yet. I do plan on setting it up for this week though. But as far as knowing that it works, I have spoken to some pretty close friends of mine and some pretty reputable people as well. They say it works. They say they've used it over the past couple weeks. So I would definitely advise you guys to go test it out as well. But now moving on to how you guys 
formats to set up your information, how you guys want to jig up them addresses. This is probably an area where I've struggled tremendously over the past couple seasons. It's just been recently that I've found a little bit more success with it. So let's go ahead and start from the top. Let's start with what names you guys can use. This is pretty simple. This pretty much just boils down to what name can you put on a package that will still get delivered to your apartment or to your house. In my case, the UPS lady doesn't really care what name I use as long as the apartment number is correct and obviously the address is correct as well. If you guys are the same you guys can pretty much use any variation of your name that you want in my case I also have like 12 different variations of my name I have a middle name and also a second last name so it's kind of a blessing for me but if you guys want to use like I've seen people use abbreviations of their last name I've also seen people use random last names as well as long as you know that the package will get delivered safely to your house I do not think that that's anything to really worry about but let's move on to the address line. This is somewhere where I would be really careful because this is something that can go wrong with delivery. Uh, me personally, I know some people say you can use letters in front of the address. At most, I use two letters. Three letters is getting a little weird. I have seen packages get returned to senders. I actually have seen my business partner's packages get returned to sender because there's just way too many letters in front of the address. So if you guys wanna play it safe, I would use one or two max. I personally have found a lot of success using things in the middle. So let's say for example, you live at XYZ Ugly Street. I go with XYZ at Ugly Street. That has worked tremendously well for me. For those of you guys who live in an apartment like myself, you can also get pretty jiggy with that line as well. You can use, for example, apartment one or APT one. You can also use suite one. You can use space one. You can even put the number one alone like that as well. I know for certain all of those work for sure they've worked for me in the past um, that line I wouldn't really stress too much you can get pretty creative with that as long as obviously the apartment reflects the actual apartment that you live in I would say more so than anything focus on the first address line now moving on to the city line this is where somebody like myself is extremely blessed man I remember when I first found out about this jig I was so hyped bro I still don't understand how this works it's actually crazy, man. I'm also not sure if this works for everybody in New York. If there is anybody out there who's watching this video in New York and you can use this, let me know as well. But me personally, I live in Elmhurst. I can get away with using Elmhurst. I can get away with using Corona, Flushing, or Queens, which pretty much gives me four different variations of my entire address crazy man all of those addresses i know for sure work for me if you guys have other cities that you can mask your address to please go ahead and use those it works wonders you will get those packages as well obviously as long as it doesn't get delivered to a completely different address in that case you'll be extremely upset but if you can that is definitely a blessing by all means use that as well but lastly let's finalize this section by talking about the phone numbers Phone numbers have kind of been a iffy topic for most people, myself included. I've kind of, uh, I guess, explored different ways to use the same phone number. I've just come down to the realization you have to use different phone numbers per order. So if that is your moms, your dads, your brothers, whatever the case is in your family, you guys definitely should go ahead and use those. I know also for certain you can use random phone numbers on Supreme as well. So if you guys want to just go ahead and change the last number of the phone number, I know for certain that works. I've used random phone numbers and have gotten packages delivered. So if you guys want to, by all means, go ahead and use those. I would again not recommend using the same phone number for different orders it is not going to go through you're most likely going to get a duplicate order message um, but this is not a line that you should probably be focusing on too much if there's any line in the address that you guys want to 100% focus the most on is that first address line it's the line that is probably going to give you the most duplicate orders or declines or just straight cancels so uh yeah i would just say focus on that line more than anything but now let's move on to just stuff that you guys should avoid when it comes to buying multiples on Supreme. This is probably going to come across as pretty simple stuff as well, especially for those of you guys who have been around for a while. I still wanted to include it in this video because there's probably some newcomers or people who just haven't been around for a while who probably are not aware. If you guys have not been aware, Supreme as of late has been banning cards that have tried to check out multiple times around the same time. So let's hypothetical situation once again. If you guys are going for two box logos this Thursday, let's say for example you're going manual with an autofill and you've also filled out a slot form if you've given both of those I guess profiles the same card 
it's very likely that Supreme is just gonna decline both of those transactions. Obviously because both of them try to check out around the same time. It obviously looks a little suspicious. Um, a remedy to that would be a virtual credit card like we spoke about before. Just give both of those profiles completely different cards. It's better to be safe and get one checkout or even get both than get none and uh, pretty much walk away with an L. But as far as some other things that you guys probably should avoid, if you guys are using an ACO like I have in my group, please, please be aware of how Supreme likes to get their information. Supreme checkout forms are very different from usual checkout forms that we see. For example, Shopify, very, very different to Shopify forms. Um, Supreme pretty much likes to get everything abbreviated. So let's say for example, instead of uh, United States for the country, they liked it to be USA. Very similarly to the state, instead of New York, they needed to be NY. So please be mindful of that make sure that in your order flow settings is as it should be It would definitely suck you having a box logo in cart and you're trying to check out and the state or the country has not been Autofilled because it's obviously not correct. Please be mindful of that Please go ahead and double check it before Thursday again. It definitely can come through very very clutch But that is pretty much it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope this video was helpful more than anything if I did miss out on anything Please feel free to drop it down in the comment section below I'm pretty sure that if you have a question somebody else probably has the same question I would definitely like to get that answered for you as quickly as possible But again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please drop a like for your boy comment your thoughts and please subscribe to the channel It'll definitely be appreciated once again all of this information is always being circulated in my discord if you guys need to have a family if you guys need to be a part of the winning squad by all means go ahead and hit that link down below join up on the 15th of this month but i appreciate you guys for watching once again until next time peace